Hello, today's devotional can be found in 2 Nephi chapter 3, verse 7. Yea, Joseph truly said, Thus saith the Lord unto me, A choice seer will I raise up. Out of the fruit of thy loins, and he shall be esteemed highly among the fruit of thy loins, and unto him will I give commandment that he shall do a work for the fruit of thy loins, his brethren, which shall be of great worth unto them, even to the bringing of them to the knowledge of the covenants which I have made with thy fathers. Okay. So... This is an example of God showing a person of old something wonderful that is going to happen. And this something wonderful was Joseph Smith, was the prophecy of Joseph Smith, Jr. coming. And through God's authority, helping to restore the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to the earth after a great time of apostasy and confusion, and within a great time of confusion. And truly, it was wonderful, but it was also sad because a truly evil mob murdered Joseph and his older brother in an attempt to kill the work of Jesus Christ, but guess what? People may kill people, but the work of God and Jesus Christ cannot be killed. It can't be killed. It can only be protected. I mean, taken off the earth is protecting it from problems. And when that apostasy came right after Christ's death, God wanted to protect the work. So he recalled all of his prophets who were killed by evil men. And he took the work, thereby leaving the world in spiritual darkness until they were ready to fit them to have another chance at spiritual enlightenment. And we're just so grateful, we should be anyway, that we have the Gospel of Jesus Christ today. Because it, it talks about, it discusses salvation and eternal life, not only for the living, but for the dead. So that when a person dies, they're not excluded or automatically gone to hell or whatever. Work can be done for them. You see, we take their name through the temple and through sacred covenants and ordinances. We help them to be able to come back to God in Christ or to the point where they can come unto God in Christ if they so wish. Nothing evil is done in temples. We don't desecrate bodies. We take their name and their spirit to follow. And here's the thing. This verse can apply to all of us as well, because we are choice sons and daughters of Heavenly Father. No matter what era of time we come into the earth, even if it is just for a brief season. And... And we are all esteemed. Highly among those who are we, we are given stewardship over, because everyone is given different stewardships at different points in our lives, depending on where the Lord feels they are needed and what the Lord feels they are ready to do. And we do these things 
out of love for the Lord and desire to grow and become like Him. And we are given commandments by the Lord. That are a great worth to us. That, or that we should treat them as if they are a great worth to us. And we should bring others to, to the knowledge of what God and Jesus Christ can offer them so that all may partake of happiness. And that we listen to God we, through His Spirit, that we may also come to the knowledge of the covenants which have been made. I'm just so grateful that we have the opportunity to make these covenants with God and to become better than we are because of the atonement of Jesus Christ. We are all choice sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father, and now because of the atonement we have the opportunity to live up to that. So live up to it. Don't be afraid. We are of great worth to Heavenly Father. Let's start acting like we believe that. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.